In a previous video, we saw how to add controls using XAML. In this video, we will add controls using c -sharp code. Let's remove the default text that is in the main window.axml file. Open the CS file associated with main window class. In main window constructor, after the initialize component call, add code to create a text block and set its text property. Also, Set its vertical alignment and horizontal alignment properties. Then, set the content property of the main window class to the newly created text block control. Run the application. The main window class, derived from the window class, has the content property, which sets the main content of the window. The content property can hold a single control, which will be displayed as the main content of the window. Content property. If you need to display multiple controls, you typically use a container control like grid, stack panel, or doc panel. You can dynamically change the window's content by setting the content property to a different control at runtime. The control set as the content will be responsible for managing its layout and the layout of any child controls it contains. Layout management. Layout management involves arranging UI elements in a visually appealing and functional way. Avalonia includes a group of elements that derive from panel class. Base class for controls that can contain multiple children. Canvas, doc panel, grid, relative panel, wrap panel, and stack panel all derive from the panel class. Canvas class inherits from panel class and displays child controls at arbitrary locations. Doc panel is a panel that arranges its children at the top, bottom, left, right, or center. A grid is a panel that defines a flexible grid area that consists of columns and rows. A relative panel is a panel that defines an area where you can position and align child objects about each other or the parent panel. A wrap panel arranges child controls in a sequence, wrapping to the next line or column when the edge is reached. A stack panel arranges child controls in a single line, either vertically or horizontally. In this video, we will be adding controls using grid and stack panels. Let us add a grid to the main window.axml file. For this demo, we will set the showgrid lines property to true. The grid has three columns and three rows. We will try to add the grid using c -sharp code instead of XAML. Delete the XAML code from main window.axml file. Add a create grid function. This function initializes a grid object and sets its name and show grid lines property. The function also adds three rows and three rows to the grid object.
Then, it sets the grid's vertical and horizontal alignment properties. Initialize a grid object by calling the createGrid function from within the main window constructor. And set the content property of the main window class to the newly created grid object. Run the application, we can see the grid created in the main window class. Now we will add a stack panel to the second row of the grid. Within the stack panel, we will add a border object and a text block within the border object. We will also add a command button to the stack panel. After adding these objects, the main window will look like this. Now we will create a stack panel and add a border object to the newly created stack panel. We will add a text block and set it as the child of the border object. We will create a new function, add stack panel to grid, to set the grid set column span function and the grid row. We will also add the stack panel as a child of the grid object. Change the newly added stack panel to be displayed in the second row of the grid. Run the application. Now we will add a new button object.
we will add a click handler to the newly added button. Run the application. Remove the show grid lines property for the grid. Run the application. So in this video, we saw how we can create controls without using XAML. Thank you for watching.